Good morning everyone and we uh, decided to go on a little trip today. Good job! to show uh, Alanya's castle. So first we will go and have a look at Red Tower. Oh, we are now in, in positions Possession of tickets mm. for the shipyard and the red tower. A sturdy door. Mm. We. Oh, Very impressive here. Oh, here's a model of the of the red tower. We have seen the, bar, the, the bottom floor. Bottom floor. Now we're gonna end up, to, up into the tower. Construction is like a layer construction, which makes this tower really, really strong. Seen from a perspective of an engineer, very thick walls and a three-layer construction kind of design makes it really, really strong. Hence, I don't see any real damage from, let's say, earthquakes or something like that. But I will say, I read one place that they did refurbish lots of it back in uh, the early 1950s. So, uh, some of it has been reconstructed. Of course. Like this, all the way around. <coughs> huh. Like a courtyard. Now it's worth noticing that the roof here is constructed in a way so that the water collects in this cistern and in this castle there is 400 cisterns so they are collecting water every time it's raining so there's plenty of water here to withstand lengthy siege Sieges, sieges, sieges. It's difficult to say. <laughs> Let's go up. See if we can see the view.
exit. <laughs> uh, a sample of a catapult. Interesting construction. <laughs> Breakfast bar here. Very attractive to locals. And one more catapult, a smaller one. Cannon houses. <coughs> they might have uh, put cannons down here. I can't see what's down there. Yeah, they have uh, put they put cannons down there. Battering ram. And we can go in this shipyard. So when you see these constructions here, protected constructions, you're thinking the Second World War, the Germans built the same kind of structures to build ships and U-boats, same kind of thing. It makes you think, doesn't it? We are not that different anymore. Anyway, this is a very uh, fascinating structure that they back then, back in the 1200s, uh, was quite aware that if they wanted to build these things possibly uh, under a siege or a wartime they need uh, constant protection hence they built ships in these rooms there's a mug up of some of those ships <coughs> and I would even say as you can see there's a uh, a modern a modern boat here that the fishermen would would still benefit from you know coming in here with their boats. I don't think they use them anymore per se. This boat is probably just for show. But I would say it's possible. And of course, known to many people, back in the day, they knew a lot of stuff about Earth that we have considered uh, belonging to the modern world. And uh, it becomes more and more evident as the arch uh, archaeologists are uncovering evidence that the astrologers, the navigators of the day knew a lot more than we have allowed them to in the past. Off. Many of these uh, models are based on tools that we they found and we think they they used that at that time. But the matter of the fact is that the Turkish boat construction uh, still uses those tools today. They're still in use today, these tools. 
It's very common used in uh, wooden boat construction here in Turkey and they're very very good at it. And many Westerners, they go to, to Turkey to build, to, to, to build uh, their dream boats made of wood. Because they're actually very, very good at it here. And many places in the Arab world, boat building is um, a very uh, advanced traditional way of building boats so you still use a wood boat in most of uh, the Arab world today I think the conclusion is that it might be interesting to go up here, but to be honest, there is not much to see here. I mean, the view is outright spectacular, and the selfie uh, locations are really, really, really good. Hello, guys. We're filming this with the This is what we do today. <laughs> it's very interesting, and the view is very interesting too. But the place is not really very interesting one, but it's fine. Ah, some scriptures and explanations of whatever pottery they found here. English. And uh, oh, that's interesting. No English. Uh, you know, it's not that interesting for tourists, so they only write it in Turkish. Some old pictures from town. And the translation, of course, is not present. So I really won't know what to say. Nice pictures though, I like them. Question about that? To use some of it in a... Uh... Goodbye for today and That's uh, all for today yeah. and see you tomorrow. We do something. <laughs> we do something else. <laughs> we'll be back to our uh, working mood. <laughs>